Thanks for checking out this video, and pff, here we are again. We're going to talk about MoviePass again. I literally put this video up, what, what, like four days ago, my first one, so if I'm going to go after that, so I'm, I'm not going to recap any of the stuff from that video, so if you want to know where I'm going to be going from here, go back, check out the first Let's Talk About MoviePass video, and then come back to this one. So let's talk about MoviePass again. Things just keep happening, as I'm sure people who have subscribed know. And on the last video, I got a decent amount of comments from people. None of them really good about MoviePass. There may have been like some good things sprinkled throughout what people said, because people had like paragraphs on there. So go check out the comments and everything. But I wanted to kind of talk a little bit more about some of the changes that have just recently happened. So one of the big things is... You know, they said they were going to scale it back and make it three movies per month, but one of the things that they started doing, even though I believe they had said that they were going to make all the movies available again, maybe I'm wrong on that, uh, they have been limiting movies. So one of the issues that people are coming up with is they go to the movie theater and it's only offering them like two options is what people are saying. You know, you can see this movie or you can see this movie. Seen them already before? Oh well, you're out of luck. Some theaters, there's nothing at all. So today I checked mine, and I have a Regal Cinemas close to me, and Regal usually plays a bunch of different movies. I have one movie available to me. That's the Mission Impossible movie, which is funny because they totally blocked Mission Impossible when that came out. So these are, these are issues. Um, the other issue that I'm hearing people bring up a bunch is that they have canceled their subscription and then all of a sudden they get an email saying that their subscription's been renewed because there's a new plan available. And they and it says in there that basically, since there's a new plan, that trumps their cancellation. Which a lot of people are like, how can you just make me re-sign up when I said don't sign me up, like cancel my stuff? So people are getting crazy about it. I understand a lot of people are saying things about wanting a class action lawsuit, this, that, and the other. Um, I'm still in the situation where, like I said on my last video, I've gotten the use that I kind of wanted out of MoviePass, so I, you know, don't feel too bad about just letting the rest of the course run through, and if I don't see that many movies, it's not that big of a deal for me, because I already made up my money and, you know, a few dollars extra, and I know I'll be able, hopefully, be able to see a, another few movies, so... I'm not that salty about it, but I can see where people who just signed up or just signed up, you know, like a few months ago could be pretty pissed off about it because when people were signing up, it was like one movie a day, you know, so very different now, very different. And um, communication's bad, and it's probably because the organization doesn't, or the, the company doesn't want to be too transparent because they don't want it to be a situation where the information gets out there that they're having financial problems or, you know, we're doing all this shady stuff like changing what films you can see and only giving you a few options because we don't have the fundage and so we're trying to limit as best we can um, because they can't say that because then that information would easily get out to the media, the media would take it, run with it, and then you think companies would work with them? You think people would invest in that company anymore? Take out ads, whatever they're looking to do? No. People would run from it, and it would totally fail. I mean, it's already not doing well, but... And a lot of people could say, you know, it's of its own making. Uh, <laughs> they screwed up. They had a bad plan from the get-go. Really a bad plan from the get-go. And just really flubbed it up. But it's been crazy, because they came out, and they were just like... We got it. We, we, we're we sorry. We got this. We got this figured out now. We have our model. And then, and then, like, right after that, start making more changes. It's like, no, you don't. No, you don't have it because you just keep screwing up, with, uh, screwing with things. So one of the big things that I want to do on this video in particular, and I'm not going to say this just because I want views for this video, but because I'm trying to actually do a service for people on this. I looked through the terms of use for MoviePass. I read pretty much everything, and I took s snippet photos, as you can see on my phone, of some of the more important things that I wanted to talk about with you guys. Um, so people are just aware. If you're going to use MoviePass or if you use MoviePass right now, just know what's in the terms of service, because the thing is, a lot of people don't read it with pretty much anything. There's a term of service for, for pretty much everything nowadays. So people are very much in the mode of, you know, I'm not going to read this, you know, just click accept which really we shouldn't do that because who knows what's in there. So 
I'm going to go through this, share this video for this reason, if there's anyone out there who you think needs to know about these rules. And also, mom, kind of plugging myself, please do a subscribe, and I'll continue to do videos like this. Actually, potentially more MoviePass videos as things continue to be weird, crazy. I'd even do them if things got a lot better. That would be nice, but we'll see. Uh, all right, so the first thing I want to go over... Um, Here's a snippet from the Terms of Use. I'm just going to go through a bunch of these snippets so people are aware. MoviePass reserves the right to change or modify the service or subscription at any time and in its sole discretion, including but not limited to applicable prices at any time without prior notice. So they're saying we can change anything with, with um, your access to films and pricing without saying anything to you. It, it can just happen. Um, MoviePass reserves the right to change the rules of movie-going attendance and ticket availability to members in connection with the service at any time. Once again, any time. MoviePass reserves the right to change from time to time the number of eligible movies a member can see per month. So when they say three, they could drop it to one. They could drop it to zero based off what their terms of service say. And you agreed to it if, you, if you're using the service right now. So I'm just just pointing this stuff out. Um, MoviePass reserves the right to offer members a new price option if they exceed watching a certain amount of movies per month. Basically saying, if you go past a threshold that they don't like, they're saying, we have the right to say, we're changing your plan and you're not paying $9.95 or whatever it is a month. You're going to pay $15.95 or whatever because you're a heavier user. So that's in there that they can start doing that stuff. Just, once again, just know this stuff. All right, cancellation, because I talked about the cancellation issues here. Uh, people were saying that they canceled, but then they were like, oh, it's a new policy, so we're signing you up. Uh, to cancel, you must notify MoviePass in writing via email at least one business day prior to the next billing date, stating your intent to cancel and providing the full name and email address on the account. You may also cancel your membership by using the MoviePass app. Cancellations are not effective until confirmation is sent to you via email, and you are responsible for all charges until cancellation is confirmed. So, if they choose not to email you and say it's canceled, they can just keep charging you based off these terms of service. And they could just do that. They could just be like, oh, well, we didn't get it. We, we know that you say you did it, but we didn't get it, so you're still liable for all this. Um... Subscription fees may be increased by MoviePass to reflect changes in standard ticket prices, inflation, MoviePass costs, and additional taxes and costs not imposed by MoviePass. Again, if you wish to terminate your agreement, you must notify MoviePass at least one business day prior to your next billing date, so keep that in mind. Any changes will take place at the end of the period for which fees have been paid and will be introduced in the next billing cycle. Again, there is no reimbursement for early termination of a membership. Once you ca cancel your MoviePass subscription, you may not subscribe to the service again for a period of nine months. So keep that in mind as well. If you really want to cancel it and you don't want to come back, you better be okay with not being with it for nine months. Okay. Um, here's another snippet. Um, this is about their products, making changes to their sites, and the site, the app, stuff like that. MoviePass may make changes to any products or services offered on the site or to the applicable prices for any such products or services at any time without prior notice. Once again, saying we can change anything whenever we want. MoviePass reserves the right to change the rules of movie-going attendance and ticket availability to members at any time. This is kind of like before. The materials on the site with respect to products and services may be out of date, and MoviePass makes no commitment to update the materials on the site with respect to such products and services. Basically saying, we can put on our site and on our services saying, this is what the plan is. Like, say they just leave it saying, it's $9.95 a month, and it's unlimited um, it's unlimited films once per day for, for an entire year, for the whole calendar year. But that's not what it actually is. They're saying in the terms of use that you're acknowledging that they, are, they don't have to update their information. So that's why the terms of use are going to become very important, are very important, and will be even more very, 
important as people get even more pissed off with MoviePass. So, once again, share this video. This is good stuff to know. It makes you shake your head, though. All right, here's some disclaimers. This is a big, big disclaimer. MoviePass does not promise that the site or any content, service or feature of the site or service will be error-free or uninterrupted or that your use of the service or site will provide specific results. Basically saying, if our stuff doesn't work, tough luck. You're being notified. Our stuff may not work, and that's not on us. You may not get the results that you want, such as what we're talking about, where you look and you're like, there's only one movie available, or there's only two options. They're covering that. Ugh. The, the service site and its content are delivered on an as-is and as-available basis. All information provided on the site is subject to change without notice. MoviePass cannot ensure that any files or other data you download from the site will be free of viruses or contamination or destructive features. Basically saying, we could give you a virus and... There's nothing you can do about it because you're saying, oh, I accept the fact that you may be sending me a virus with your app or on your website. Terrible. MoviePass disclaims all warranties, express or implied, including any warranties of accuracy, that's important, non-infringement, merchantability, and fitness for a particular purpose. MoviePass disclaims any and all liability for the acts, omissions, and conduct of any third parties in connection with or related to your use of the service and site. You assume total responsibility for your use of the service, site, and any linked sites. Your sole remedy against MoviePass for dissatisfaction with the service, site, or any content is to stop using the service, site, or any such content. But as we covered, they can just not acknowledge that you're trying to cancel and say you're in breach and you have to pay. This is not good. It's not good. So I think I have two, I have two more. Okay, so let's, let's go to the next one. Um, all right, the above disclaimer applies to any damages, liability, I don't need to read that one because it's covered. Um, uh, actually, mm, I'm not reading that one. I'm gonna read this one, but the other one. The other one's not important. MoviePass reserves the right to do any of the following at any time without notice. One, to modify, suspend, or terminate operation of or access to the site or any portion of the site for any reason. Basically saying we can shut the site down, we can shut the app down whenever we want for no reason. So, so therefore, they can just shut everything down and people can't use it and they're covered here. By, take, by accepting these terms of service, you're saying... Basically, I acknowledge that you may just shut your, your service down so I can't use it, but I'll still pay for it. Not good. Once again, once again. Number two, to modify or change the site or any portion of the site and any applicable policies or terms, that's when they can shut it down. And number three, to interrupt the operation of the site or any portion of the site as necessary to perform routine or non-routine maintenance, error correction, or other changes. So they basically covered saying, we can do whatever we want, whenever we want. We can shut it down. We can, I mean, they could leave it shut down, honestly. So let me go on to my last portion. Now, this is about indemnity, and this is important for anyone who's potentially looking to file any sort of grievance against them. I know there was a Twitter handle out there called, like, Movie Pass Class Action Lawsuit or something like that. So this will just kind of help people understand some th things with that. You agree to indemnity and hold movie pass its officers, directors, shareholders, predecessors, successors in interest, employees, agents, subsidiaries, and affiliates harmless from any demands, loss, liability, claims, or expenses, including attorney's fees, made against movie pass by any third party due to or arising out of or in conjunction with your use of the MoviePass service or site. Basically saying you hold nobody responsible for the issues you would have with MoviePass but yourself. So that's where we are, fellas and ladies, with MoviePass. Um, that's all I'm going to go over with the terms of service. If you want to know more about it, see I'm crossing my arms because I'm just like kind of fed up, but <laughs> um, if you want to know more about it, read it yourself. I do encourage people to do that type of stuff. Um, I'm guilty myself of 
a lot of those terms of service just being like fine because I want whatever app I'm trying to get or you know whatever site I'm trying to access. But check it out and like I said, share this video for anyone you think needs to know about these at least these particular terms of service blurbs that are very very important so people kind of know what they're dealing with with this company and yeah once again let's start talking about it you can give me a thumbs up you can give it a thumbs down on the video it doesn't really matter to me but please 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 help me out uh hit the subscribe if you want to know whenever i'm putting up a new video hit the little notification bell because that'll let you know but at the very least just hit a subscribe even if you're not big on what i'm doing just because it helps me out takes you like a second and it's painless but until next time, thank you so much for checking this out. Thank you for so much for checking out any of my videos. Hopefully people aren't having too terrible of a time with MoviePass, but I know it's been wah-wah. But thank you. Until next time, keep it brutal.